Conan Exiles. Don't know what chapter this is, 34 or something. It has been a lot. So, today I was thinking we should uh, present our base. As you can see on the map, we are still in the same place as before. Abyss of Yogue, Mean Steve is stiff. Right next to the summoning place, we built our Fortress of Yogue. <coughs> Here's the summoning place, which is a kind of main ritual place of the cannibals, the Rastafari, well, I don't know. And here's the entrance of the Valley of Yog. So I don't know what the story is, but these guys up here seem to have lost their ways. Uh, they're ritualistic, they're barbaric, they're primitive. Here we have a more refined Temple of Yog. Fortress of Yog. So there's been a couple of purges though, a couple of attacks of Zealot. So we got a sand brick brick stone. This is where what I started with. It's got a bit of reinforcement, but no climbing prevention, which I <laughs> just learned of. So you can, you can climb up here and enter. But usually I keep these doors open. It's only when there's a purge I close them because uh, it's open for everyone. It's not a right, and inside we have a ritualistic chest. Oh wait, someone! Oh, someone did take what's here, and I got more black eyes. See, this is my uh, uh, what you call it tribute container of meat. So people come here and trade, and they give stuff to me, and I get stuff in return. And okay, so I got black eyes. Mm. So let's see. I'm stuck in chat. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, let's see who's online. Not a lot of people play on this server right now. Oh, I'm alone on the server. So I think that's Rotgar. Uh, but wow, that's cool. So I'm gonna make sure to stuff this with stuff that I have surplus on, and people can come and get it, and I'll leave whatever. So it's like an informal base. All these guards here are very bad. XR3, level 0. So no one's guarding the Temple of Yog has any good gear really. And no level. They're not they're like really crappy base thralls that are basically placed on the map. They did their job preventing the first couple of purges that attack this way here with humanoids. Sometimes they shoot at these hyenas out there that come back and eat these carcasses. Alright, so here's the Tower of Yog, like the fortification for defending the temple. Um, not a lot to it, really, except that it's a tower, and it has a basement dungeon here. Uh, it has a hidden chest down here, with nothing in it, but I used to keep skeletons in there, so that I could place them... For defense for the purges when I was scattered them, but I, it turns out the purges are really puny at in this biome in this level. So let's go up here. So this guy actually is a level ten. Uh, I think this guy has some levels on it. So sneaker, yeah, level ten. So inside the tower there are a couple of decent defenders. I have not set individual. I'm, I'm, I mean, I train these guys, equip them, then I, then I just put them somewhere. So I'll, I'm telling you, I don't know what orders this guy has. Like, he's, he has the default orders. He's gonna go out and attack stuff. I think. So there's uh, two balconies in the tower for uh, archers or orators, priests. Here we. Okay, I for once I have this where you have to duck down to get just how it worked out and Of course we have uh, a scouting tower which lacks a piece of ladder here I've Got to place that I ran out. Okay, okay, okay uh, Yeah, never mind you can climb up there and there's a beacon you can light fire on, so you see really crappy materials, simple wooden doors. 
Um, this is a little more fun though. Let's see, can you see the... Yeah, there's a... Is it a beacon? It's a... One of those huge fires. Alright, so... From here, this is this is what I planned all along. That that's this is why I built the tower. The only reason why I built the tower is that you can go by elevator over to our fortress. Oh yeah, I built the map room. Well, it's called a map room, but it's basically a map out in the open on a sand brick foundation. Uh, it's not defended. It's open. Yeah, I'll build a wall around it one day. Also, I would like to build a vault. It, that's a huge building for storage of valuables. And I'm going to have a lot of heavy walls around it. And hopefully people come and attack it instead of uh, tearing down my base. Okay, welcome to... This is the like my part of... I don't care about the Yog temple. I'm not part of that. I'm. This is a caravan trading. See the... We're called the Trade Guild, so this is our trading base. I'm the captain of the guard for the Yog Temple, perhaps, and we uh, we take care of the fence and the, the stuff, and we do the trading in there. But the priests are they're a bit creepy. I mean, their room is of cannibalism, haha. <laughs> yeah. So this is now the upgraded tier three, uh, reinforced. It's not black eyes. I can't afford that. All right, we need a couple of stairs here. We don't have any stairs. Uh, I have no hardened brick either. I ran out of everything uh, doing this upgrade. I, I just did it this morning, so turned out it turned out okay. But I did lose a workstation and stuff inside it. It it kind of I had to as I was gonna upgrade and remove and save and repair I just had to put more and more stuff into my inventory and even though I have unlimited storage space with encumbrance there's a limit to how many items you can have not the weight so when I removed one workstation full of stuff it just fell on the floor it's like no you can't fit it oh where am I supposed to put the stuff and I started putting stuff in panic yes I want to grab all that valuable crafting stuff into other workstations so it turned out into a disaster and then when I turn around to pick up we're talking seconds here now boop, it just vanished the sack on the floor with the workbench and not all I think the the like the alchemist which was manning it and half of the materials did not fit in, including the workstation so I had to remake it that was really bad this is the storage room um, I haven't locked any of these cupboards because I figure if someone gets in here and blows a wall in the hole, I might as well let him have it. It's documents, low level, low level thralls, not worth anything. Uh, my low level workstations. These could be brought to a new base somewhere else. I'm planning to do that. Just grab these, but there's nothing high level stuff here. Here's some. Uh, curiosities, rare treasures, like stuff. I don't even know what most of this is. And well, I do know what the star champion is. Glowing goop, some silver coin. Okay, we'll grind those down in the chemistry part. Silver stone. Okay, and we have all our colors here. And here's my hidden treasure behind here. This did not disappear in the refurbishing so here are some weapons my star metal how did I get star metal in the south I have not left the south I did there is one specific sword that once you have finished all the durability of it you can uh, uh, refurbish it and it will get star metal but I suppose these are like end game PvP or some has temperature temperature stuff on them so what that when we go up to the cold or into the hot desert these things could be needed I don't need them right now so this is my treasure tr throw I also don't need uh, quite that much the hardened steel the gold bars and the hardened leather so I'll just put stuff in here to hide it away to because I'm a hoarder, big time hoarder. 
which I shouldn't be because one day someone's gonna raid my base and then I'll cry because I lost it all also when I refurbish stuff will disappear like earlier today so there's a few areas here that I need to upgrade for example underneath there I read that when you do this when you upgrade the workbench can bug and be destroyed but I'm just gonna do it now if it does we have evidence here don't we right so I, I I don't know what's happening here but I'm I'm just upgrading the floor underneath uh, so no one can mine in I don't know if that's possible in the game so we should have a a better foundation underneath here now that this seems I worked fine I don't know I can't see what I'm doing but down below if I had brickstone they are now replaced with uh, reinforced and to be honest it isn't worth uh, pulling it out and replacing it manually and rebuilding the entire base I'll I'll take the loss of this no no questions I done that a lot of times I have uh, removed stuff to save it but it's it's so frustrating and complicated when you have a base like this I really think it's like just just do it just uh, upgrade you're supposed to get to save if the building block isn't damaged it's supposed to end up in your inventory Is that gonna work? Huh, yeah. No, that's not gonna work, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, almost. It's almost working. Wow, yeah. Because you can walk through this thrall here. Oh, um, okay. Another interesting thing I have a level 10 cannibal brute in here. But this is a really good one. This is my best roll up there. It's ex cannibal bodyguard. He has uh, two lovely perks, hallowed and redeemed. They both give fifteen vitality. Well, high strung isn't that good. He he gets a bit of uh, agility, is it? But look, he has forty plus vitality, meaning he has like ten thousand hit points, and his rocking throwing knives and a mace so hopefully if a player gets in here that he'll have to deal with these two brutes cannibal brutes so of course i'm gonna level this guy up but i, g I guess one of the bottlenecks of Ek conan is leveling up your thralls it's gonna take a long time i don't have access to the best thralls i'm just using local recruits so they're not really good, but I mean, if they get nice um, perks like this guy, you know, hopefully, it takes a while to uh, kill them for a player that gotten this far. I'm hoping to slow them down and prevent players to get in here. Out here we have the iron and uh, hides and leather working. So this was a freaking pain to build. To get this blacksmith to sit in here, oh, it was so hard. And then I had to redo it when I upgraded to reinforce tier 3 materials. Also, I have my, uh, for some reason, I have my weapons and expedition stuff in here, like high end yield. Not healing, though. Not healing. So I wanna go to the. Yeah, doesn't matter. Alright, so we make leather and uh, weapons up here although I don't craft any weapons because you get legendary weapons so easily this is the chemistry oh I should have put, put up signs here chemistry lab again I had to redo it and this is the alchemist bre uh, bench oh, okay this is not good so I, I'm, I'm thinking I can pass through there yeah you can most of the time tinkers bench fireball cauldron alchemist branch here we Okay, you had to jump up here, that's fine. Here we have flowers, herbs. Here we have potions and bottles and glass and crystal and glass so you can make more bottles. 
Don't ask me what you're supposed to do with this. I, I know you can use Demon Fire to crack Star Metal, but yeah, I'm not doing that. But this is a nice little lab. Let's let's continue our tour. <laughs> Cause all right, how? Okay. Mm. All right. I think maybe I'll. That's a shame. How do I call on the elevator? Oh yeah, you can call the elevator through the door here. Uh, there we go. I think it's coming. I just want to take. This is. A, I like the elevator. I mean, <laughs> I'm. Ne I never used this, but it just looks cool. Totally role playing. Like, all right. Okay, here we go. And here's the kitchen, the well, and uh, fortifica outer fortification wall, which I built. We're now in the arming tower. Yeah, I guess that's the that's what we're gonna call it, the arming tower, because I have everything re related to thralls here. This is a good archer, Braggy the bowshot. He might be the best. He has a, even has an epic armor, 700 armor, uh, epic raider bracers. You can see by this purple border that it's it's really valuable. So he has an amazing 54 accuracy, and he has snake arrows and steel arrows, and and even a legendary bow. So my hope is that if a player drops down from up here. And he lands inside this base. You know, most of these thralls are bad down here. Uh, this is a pretty good guy. He's level 20. He got some decent traits. Thick skull, relentless, and unfortunately resourceful skulker. He got, the last one was survival and less strength. I guess I'm okay with 54 accuracy and 52% accuracy range damage bonus and snake arrows. I'm gonna make... Um, dragon bone arrows for this guy because and I put him on stand and defend and ranged and, and everything and like attack uh, distance attack distance max 50 meters so whatever happens let's see did he fire oh he only has 95 steel arrows maybe he fired off five on a purge the last perch I had were lizards and a giant crocodile. They came down from up here and they attacked the outer defensive wall here. And they actually tore down some ba ba wooden spikes that weren't outside. And inside here we have the kitchen and the two slave quarters. I'll show you. Alright, so in here we have all all the weapons and thralls and bow and arrows crappy arrows um, so these are <laughs> look these are all local carriers Hagar Hawkeye four of Hagar Hawkeye cannibal brutes Frigga full soap yeah these are not really good and Cena hidden daggers they're not really good thralls but that's what I got. So here's one of our... When we went to the unnamed city, which is uh, uh, end game stuff. We actually went there once, me and Stevie Stiff. And we got in from the southern side. And we went to the grand green dragon and killed it. And some smaller dragon babies here. We also visited the library, the archive, sorry. So we got the map room skill. And then we left. But our water was running out. No name. Oh, let's remove that. Yeah, Stevie Steve died. Oh, anyway, so to go into there, there's corruption. You need to bring a, a what's it call it, dancing entertainer. Because they remove uh, corruption. So that's why we level. And in the end, these entertainers, they level up to level 20. And this one is pretty good. He's got 15 redeemed, which is like an extremely good trait, quite uncommon. And he got some Born Warrior Relentless, some decent ones. So, she has 7,000 hit points and daggers, and she's defending inside. What's in here is 
well, lots of legendary weapons, but I think most of these legendary weapons here are actually like best for PvE. They have low armor penetration and high damage output. So basically, I can take this stuff, stick it on a, on a thrall, and bring it on a round around to level them up and, and use it for Pv PvE. Taking out world bosses, legendary bosses, grinding cannibals and, and getting materials. Uh, yeah, so honestly, what's in here? Medium leather armor. There's nothing super uh, valuable in here. So all the chests are unlocked, I think. Uh, meaning that if a player would get in here, oh right, I had a trap door, <laughs> hatch door it's called, but when I, yeah, okay, let's try to place it here again. I placed it and it wouldn't open, it, it glitched. Okay, so now at least there's, there's, yeah, they have to tear down and she's in the way, isn't she? So I'm gonna see if I can make her move and guard a little bit better inside. Too close to another thrall. Yeah, I can't move her. It's uh, it's pretty horrible um, organizing a base because I don't want her. I want her to stand inside the by the wall, but somehow she moved out here right in the way when you try to get out every time. So yeah, quite annoying. And the workaround is to kick her a bit, but yeah, I don't like that. So this used to be like high-end loot, the Panther arming tower, but it's not that much anymore. Here's where I just put in crap, like my 17 wall palisades and fibers apparently. Down here, I don't know, is it the living quarters? Like the bed goes in here. And uh, I don't have. All I have is a level zero Darfari dancer with no equipment. So this is basically. He heals the guys outside. And then me and my clan mates can have beds in here. I can sleep on a rock. You know, talking about that, I, I don't think I have a. I don't think I have a spawn bed on the map now. Okay, so as you can see, I haven't done anything with this. And uh, this this part is now upgraded to reinforced walls. Uh, it's not super important in here. It's just oh wait, we made another a smith. Okay, let's no 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 no. I need uh, all right. Uh, let's do that later. Anyway, in here we have some defenders. And I kind of figure they're hidden in here, so people can't kill them from the outside. These are Cannibal Brutes, uh, level 14 and level 10. So I'm on my way to level these guys up. They're decent. I think once someone jumps into the base, these guys are going to rush out and engage them and slow them down. And they have to fight them. This guy is another entertainer level 20 that we, that, that we brought to the unnamed city. She turned out to be more of a an archer. Not a very, very I mean her traits are archer traits. So she's not she has some ranged capability with snake arrows and steel arrows. So maybe I should place I should probably place her on the outside so she can shoot arrows. But you know, I, I don't have time to do it at all. So Defenders and slave training, right? The other slave quarters is in here. You can train slaves. Turns out uh, this is more of a building items and torture rack. So uh, I have a little bit of space here. I could I could store more stuff, but since people can climb up here. And grab stuff through the windows. Yeah, I'm keeping sandstone shit in here. And this sandstone shit, I think I'm gonna throw it all away. I'm never gonna be in this building sandstone again. I have enough stone brick, which is next tier, tier two, to bring this and build my second base wherever I want it. I haven't decided yet. 
So all this stuff here, I, I could give it away to a beginner or I guess, it, I don't know. I mean, if you, re if you be welcome to climb up here, reach in and say, haha, I can steal stuff. I, I'm gonna steal your sandstone stuff. And here are all my cosmetic um, that I had to remove most of it so that I can rebuild and upgrade the base. But this is all, I haven't, maybe a table or two I have crafted, but all this is stuff I found around this area. Cosmetics, is that's what I, cosmetics. Yeah. All right. And that just means, that leaves us with the kitchen, which used to be open air, but I enclosed it in sandstone. So now the kitchen is in here. And a couple of bad archers. They used to they used to stand on a balcony, so I figured they could shoot down over the valley. Now they're inside. And we also have our like expedition box, food, healing. The healing obviously comes from the alchemy lab upstairs. So then I have to deposit it down here. But it's just easier to grab healing hair when you go out on an expedition than having to run all the way back up to the uh, alchemy lab which is inside the factory and here we have the should I call it P, uh, base defense weapons maybe base it's kind of mixed but I'm trying to keep stuff with high armor penetration which is more efficient versus players in high level armor when they jump in and attack the base so I try to have weapons for thralls in here and also players weapons for us like steel truncheons. Yeah. And this is where I put my shit now when I was building the base. I'm not gonna show you food. There's food in the kitchen. No surprises there. I messed up with... Uh, I can't replace this block down here by the well. And the well isn't movable. So... Uh, I kind of figuring... Could I grab water from up here? You cannot. I need to do something with this area here. Uh, I'm thinking buildings, so you can just run straight into the what I call the factory. Okay, you can grab water from here. I mean, this this is just a disaster area. You can, it's really disorganized, but it's more cosmetic. It's just water. That's it. It I built this very early. Of course, I have to upgrade this wall, but then I'm basically done with the bunker factory. Because this is the heart of the base. This is what's valuable. This is what I don't want to be destroyed. This is where I have stuff that is uh, valuable. Okay, apparently I have... Like, I value alchemical base. Because it takes gold. And I keep robbing it from the uh, cannibals in the area. So I have a bit... I mean, I guess I'll up... The kitchen isn't really the most valuable part if, if that was destroyed or robbed or raided yeah it's a bunch of fish and meat that I lose I lose a lot of fish and meat yeah yeah it's the factory that I'm worried about let's uh, I'm sorry I get, I'm getting stuck here so this is not optimal here bow maker It's a labyrinth, it's a maze, it's badly disorganized, and also now I can't move around very well. But I started up, I, I, I've been in this base since start, and it was very small, it was very constricted, and it was made in sandstone. It was a beginner's base. Then it was an intermediate base, and I kind of built a defensive tower and an outer wall. And I started to build in sandstone, and then I built this temple, which escalated into a wall, and a tower, and a yog story here. That took quite a while to build. And all the time I waited to be able to build a lot of steel reinforcements, but I couldn't, because I couldn't fin find a blacksmith. We're talking no blacksmith. Not a level 1, not a level 2, no, you need level 3, 4, or yellow thrall to make steel reinforcement cheaply. It took me a very long time to get that. That's why it's taking me such a long time to get to the level 3 
All right, so I'm thinking here of making this into an enclosed room. It, it used to be the balcony. This is just growing level after level after level organically. So here's some new defenses I put out on the outside. A new wall, a new tower. Oh, wait, where the fuck is that thrall? I placed a thrall down there, a good one. Is it dead? If he is, I'm gonna be upset. He's gone. Which reminds me, yeah, I played the, I placed those wooden barricades on next to a thrall, and when I came back, the thrall was dead. He probably like grinded himself to death on that wooden palisade. So don't use wooden palisades next to a thrall. This is another cannibal archer. He's he's not the best archer, but he is 26 accuracy. It's decent. I mean, he's he's better at shooting a bow than he's melee. So I have him here overwatching the overwatching guarding this outer wall that I'm building. It's not done yet. Uh, yes I know. I'm aware that it's super easy to just climb up here and jump down into the base. I'm not saying I'm trying to trap players but I'm saying that I don't know how the hell I mean I could build a protect protective shell around the entire base later I, I mean that's that's next phase it's not now but if you jump down here I am hoping that either you can only reach stuff that isn't very valuable or it's gonna be hard for you to uh, get through the walls or especially if you go down to the defensive outer wall area there's a lot of thralls mediocre thralls but still a bunch of them and I don't know how hard it is. If you're a high level player with a super good best thrall in the world, could you just jump in and kill 5, 10 of my thralls that are mediocre? My assumption is yes, you can. Okay, I'm very worried about this guy. I leveled him all day yesterday and now he's gone. Where is he? I can't see him. I can't find him. He used to stand up here. Now he's, now he's gone. Okay, so I lost one thrall, and I lost a bit of staircase here. Yeah, well, it's okay. You can. This is the temple of Set. Uh, it serves multiple purposes. First, we make poison arrows and anti-poison potions here, of course. Well, I guess we're not doing shit right now, but that's the plan. So I, I don't even have the Set religion now, and also it's a bit of role playing. A little sneaky Conan thief hole where you can actually get in here because I don't care that much if you get in here there's nothing valuable the caverns are empty but it looks nice all right there's a nice uh, vista of the valley from this balcony where you can sit and drink snake blood with your friends look at look at this look at this beautiful valley here the valley of Yog, the fortress of Yog. it looks nice I like the role-playing like look of this base. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, so the second purpose it is kind of an outer wall for players. So let, let's let's consider if you're a player and you're like, hmm, I want to get inside this base. Okay, I'll go down here and climb that. No, there's a wall there, huh? I I get in here then. I'll climb here. Uh, mm, uh. Okay, I, I come from down here and I climb up. No, there's like okay. So one way to get in is to r ride across the valley. Oh, sorry. Pause this. Hold that thought. Okay. Uh, right across the valley behind the temple if you climb up there you can climb up here you can cross you can cross the, the stone bridge um, yeah I, get out I don't, I don't want to fight you go away see you can oh that's a cool horn maybe you should build uh, something up there I'm just scared that if I build a base next to here, that will mess up the spawns and I can't go in there and grind stuff. 
that would be bad. But I could get to the chests. I could just go in there and loot the chests for free with no defenders. As I said before, I have underneath the th Sinner's Refuge, it goes, it's a cave with brimstone. It goes all the way up here to the Abyss of Yog. Here's the end of it. And NPCs won't spawn in here because my base is interfering with the spawn locations. And uh, like underneath into the earth, there's a dungeon down here. So I don't want to, but it would be cool to have a scouting tower up there on that. I haven't seen it before. So if you climb up here, you can climb, jump, 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 come up, up, up. You can you can get up here, right? And from up there on the cliff, you can jump and drop down into the base. So I guess my plan is to like make the drop high enough or the climb difficult enough that you take some damage and you drop into the base and you drop onto all my thralls. Let's see. That okay, that's not a lot of fall damage. You see? So like you could easily climb away here, stand up there, boom, drop down, and you're inside my base. Well, you're inside the base, but you're not inside the factory. You're not inside the produ production facility. There's always doors and walls. So, I don't know how to protect myself from burglars, raiders, base griefers. I don't. Let's check out this uh, outer wall. I don't, I don't know how to build an outer wall that you can't climb over. I checked a little bit of YouTube and, uh, well, if you, did we take this elevator over? I don't think we did. Did I forget to do that? As you can see, I've started to reinforce the outer side of the base foundation there. And it's the same. So you can put spikes on the wall. But I mean, I don't think a raiding party will try to get inside the base from this part here, by this wall. Well, now certainly it's harder for them to do that. I think they will come... What I would do is close this door yeah, so I can get up here. So I would climb up here, go over the stone bridge and climb up here and then drop down. So maybe... I, I actually checked out, is there a way to like build a wall up here on top of this stone bridge to prevent people from getting on well then they could climb there's freaking always a way to get up here I cannot prevent people from getting up here and dropping down into the base so please let me know in the comments what would be the easiest way to to like protect my base uh, I'm telling you what I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna build a square Borg cube with no windows. I would. It looks ugly. This looks great, but it's not the best for defense. It's grown organically over two weeks of playing or or more. And uh, in a way, I'm happy with it. But I do realize it's not a good base for defense. It's too spread out, which means if I want to defend it all, I don't I won't have thralls enough. You can have you can have twenty thralls plus five per player. And I don't know how that works. There is a setting service settings look uh, maelstrom no pet and hunger. You can have twenty thrall and pet population base value. Throw a pet provision per player. So I guess I'm one player and then I have two friends in my clan. One that doesn't play, one that plays occasionally. But with three players in the clan. So I think it's three times five plus twenty. So thirty-five thralls. That's a lot. But my plan is to cram as many good thralls as possible into the factory. Or around the factory. I don't care about this temple. If people want to raid it, raise it, kill the thralls. They're all bad thralls with bad gear. It, it's like a, it's a tease, it's a, it's a decoy, a, a role-playing place.
So what is my plan for the base the next couple of days? Well, I, uh, I'm i not scared of the purge anymore. They're easy. I don't know if I made a wise choice to set up my base where I am at now in uh, the desert biome. I don't know how hard it is to defend versus purges in the tundra ice and volcano areas I'll find out one day but maybe it's an advantage we still can tr mass produce thralls and I guess I'm still training a couple of tr trolls here yeah two of them oh we got more alchemists is it okay so I'll, I think I lost an alchemist by that Workstation disappeared, but I just made two new ones. So I'm, I'm, I have a lot of alchemists. I don't care about that. That was lucky. If it's been my only blacksmith, I would have cried. Did I find... Yeah, I did find another blacksmith there. But I think it's a copy of the one I found. <coughs> so I now have two of the blacksmith with the hammer. I'm afraid. So that wasn't... I, I guess I can maybe trade him. Anyway. Maybe I should upgrade this outer wall. I was thinking of ra raising it. These these banners are a bit wonky, aren't they? Um, I th was thinking of making it taller, this wall. Yeah. Wonky, 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 wonky stuff. But now I think I'll just replace it with... Uh, reinforced instead of brickstone maybe the easiest thing is just to tear it all down and save the materials and rebuild it for now it's good enough for now it, it keeps the purge out and i don't see a human player lining up outside the wall trying to fight this wall that would be a nice pvp encounter like a proper siege you would have I don't know, three, four, five players out there fighting my thralls, trying to break down the wall, yada yada. That's not how people play. I think people try to drop down, blow a hole in the wall, go in, in loot all they can, and get out. Yes. All right. So maybe my plan really is to, like, yeah, you can get in, but you can't get out. Well, let me show you a bit what I'm thinking about that. Um, so this wall that I'm building, and I don't know if this is a good idea, but, but I'm thinking that this is not only to keep players out. Remember those uh, wooden wall palisades, the wooden pointy things? I'm planning to place them all the way on the inside here. Which means if you're up here and climbing and doing your stuff and trying to get in, or you make a bad drop, I hope that you get stuck in here and you're stuck on those wall palisades. So I'm not going to be able to walk here. When I'm done with this wall, I'm just going to fill this shit with wall palisades. Alright, so, and I think, you see, as you see, I'm starting to fortify this on the inside as well. I'm going to make this climb resistant on the inside. So that if you're in here, there are going to be walls. It's just going to be you're not going to be able to get in or out so maybe you can drop into the base but then how do you get out well you can blow your way out all the way through all the gates all the way through all the defenses where I walk out and in and out of the base all through you know but that's gonna be hard so maybe getting out is gonna be the hard part in this base not getting in here's where the two the temple are set which is not aligned with the inner base so they kind of overlap here, but it turns out this works fine here. Uh, so more climbing spikes on the outside here. More climbing spikes on the inside and on the outside. Re reinforcements. That is that is something I'm doing. Um, so I'm thinking also of hiring someone on the server and asking them like what do you want to come to my base because people pass by and say your base is shit it's really bad i know it's really bad because it's been sandstone and brickstone and there are more advanced players than i am so i want to i want to hire rent 
barter with a burglar or a planet player and say like how would you get in how would you raid how would you but it's starting to look kind of massive and impressive isn't it yes there's some brick wall there that i will replace i'm also thinking of buying a dlc cosmetic because kind of like the mixed materials it gives it, it a nice look the base so once i'm upgraded all i don't want it to look like a monolith uh like all in the same material i would like it to have so I'm, I'm gonna buy a DLC and, and mix in that, that kind of building material somewhere. And of course, this I'll, I'll keep this in Brickstone. It looks good for role-playing reasons, and I don't want to waste the materials to upgrade it, because I don't really care about this part at all. Actually, it would be kind of good if someone destroyed the, the, this part, the Yog Temple, because it would open up the Sinner's Refuge underneath it for more Brimstone and the thralls inside it that you can farm so <laughs> i'm not going to destroy it on my own but hey if you want to play pvp and let me just level up these thralls a bit and we could have a nice fun pvp session where you attack the temple of yo because you hate yada yada you could have the, all these role playing issues with it and i think pvp should be like that fair and base rating like you do in Scum, Rust, all these kind of games, where people are just as mean, evil, griefing bastards. Not my kind of gameplay. This server seems so far devoid of that kind of players, but who knows if they will come here. And it is a PvP player p ba uh, server, so I couldn't complain. If I log in one day, well, here's the thing there is no offline rating. At the moment, the server admin could change that, and what the hell am I supposed to do about that? He just changed, so there's there's offline rating, base rating allowed on his Sifta server. So he might as well do that here, but I hope he doesn't. So, my main losses so far is a level 12 thrall that died on spikes. A workstation today when I upgraded the base with a bunch of alchemy, uh, herbalism, uh, but nothing that can be replaced. Actually, I think I had too much stuff up there. S so far, I haven't felt that I lost anything of value. Uh, maybe some alchemical base. Maybe I was lucky and got most of it out when I... So, and now I don't have to upgrade this part anymore. Well, Long term, what you can do is just build a protective shelf with one extra layer of wall, I suppose. On the outside of all this, while well, the factory, you can just cover it inside like the Chernobyl reactor, like with a. Just cover it like a bunker. Now. Hey, black screen defender? What, what is... Oh, you need to refresh. You need to refresh your... Um, what's it called? Twitch browser. It's fuck I wonder if it's just me. Or if... Uh, anyone else has the same problem with Twitch. But lots of people, including myself, say that when they enter my stream... Welcome to the stream, Defender77, by the way. When they come to Twitch TV and they try to watch my live recordings, it's just, it's just a black screen. And I Google it and there is a... Uh, people say, yes, you have to refresh your Twitch browser and, and, and you will be able to see. So it may, it's not only me, but why does it happen this often? Does it work? Okay, let me let me go on Twitch myself and see if I can uh, watch my own stream. Back to Twitch. Okay, my own channel. Yep, it's just it says the stream will resume shortly. I get the background picture, and then I F5, which is uh, refresh, and it's the same. Oh, this is. Well, it says in 
Twitch Studio Beta that I am recording and you can hear the voice so there there is um, there is a recording going on there is a stream but there's no picture and I just blame uh, it's something wonky with uh, the, the recording software sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I don't change the settings between streams does it work for you now I, I can't watch the stream if I refresh doesn't work okay I'm gonna close my browser maybe that's what you need to do close your browser and restart it, it it's not enough um, refreshing it no same Okay. Well, that is a shame. I mean, this hasn't happened. Well, now it seems like all my previous recordings have worked. I exported them to YouTube. They're not. I think it's something to do with uh, which Twitch. Twitch TV and it is annoying but I'm sorry I, I don't know how to fix it um, what I'll do is I'll break off the stream and I'll post it on Twitch as a highlight and I'll export it to uh, YouTube and we'll see if if like it's only one black screen for everyone but I, what I think it is is it's actually working but somehow Twitch TV won't uh, broadcast it for us for me and for you so that's a bit of a letdown channel Yeah, I need to I need to figure this out. I, I'm really sorry. I maybe you can watch the uh, the exported YouTube file later because the base is pretty cool and it's worth a watch. Sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed the base. If you are able to see this in the future, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Fuck you, Twitch Studio OBS Beta, never working anything. <laughs>